The governor has also said it's up to local governments to enforce the state's COVID rules, particularly in microcluster spots like Monroe County. Kayla Green joining us live after county officials have updated us about the state of the infections in our area. Kayla. John, while the positivity rate has plateaued in the past couple of days, Dr. Mendoza says today we have the nigh highest number of cases, hospitalizations, and people on ventilators than we've had throughout the entire pandemic. Low prevalence in schools could be bringing the rate down, but community spread is still happening. That's what he says today. Now, today, County Executive Adam Bello says we've also seen a slight decrease in the yellow zone cluster areas over the past couple of days. He says testing in schools has shown the spread is not happening happening there and that he's doing everything he can to keep schools open. That being said, Bello and Dr. Mendoza say they want to begin testing outside of schools more in other businesses to see where the prevalence is. Bello says he's working with the state on that and hopes to have it figured out in the next few days. To slow the spread, Dr. Mendoza asks people again to reconsider Thanksgiving plans, try to minimize shopping to one trip per week and work from home if you can. Dr. Mendoza also urges people to give all information and people who could have been exposed to contact tracers when they call. Bellow says while we're not at the orange zone yet, if it does happen, it won't be an abrupt closure like in the spring. Dr. Mendoza says he's seeing more young people than ever hospitalized for COVID-19. I don't think orange is inevitable. Uh, I think that we can get uh, manage our way through yellow and get out of yellow. We hold the future in our hands. Uh, hospitals are becoming very full. And when we talk about hospital capacity, I want to take a moment and uh, underscore that hospital capacity isn't just about beds and, and lights. It's about people. And those people are our nurses, our respiratory therapists, our doctors. Um, while they may be there in the same numbers as before, um, they are not there in the same spirit as before. We are burnt out, we are tired, and we want the community to step up and help us. Now, if we were to move into an orange zone, gyms, barbershops, hair salons, and some high-risk personal care services would have to close down. Today, Dr. Mendoza says this list of businesses, these are not the ones that he is worried about.